So, uh, <laughs> here's what's crazy, right? There's, there's common sense. There's common practice. Cool. But it wasn't so common for the YSL trial for the lawyers, the Fonnie Willis, the whole Fulton County District's office with all the lawyers, the $5 million grant that I told y'all about in the video exposing all of this crap. Bruh, it's bad. It basically looks like we ain't getting no speedy trial. From the opening phase of Young Thug's trial in Atlanta, the superstar forehead firmly on a courtroom table while his lawyers slogged through early weeks of an interminable trial has often seemed broken by the court. But seeing another way, the Young Thug trial is breaking the court. Attorneys and other sources close to the trial say that the sprawling prosecution of Thug and his YSL cohort on murder, gang, and racketeering charges is affecting cases across Metro Atlanta and beyond, creating widespread delays and disrupting other trials. Among those other cases is the RICO prosecution of Rashawn Benny, a.k.a. the rapper YFN Lucci, who is facing a murder charge after allegedly participating in a botched drive-by and what prosecutors describe as an ongoing YFN, YSL war. Bennett has been in Fulton County Jail since May 2021, awaiting trial. Bennett, Justin, Bloody J, Ushery, and 10 other defendants were set to begin their gang and racketeering trial on January 9th, the same day the YSL case was set to begin. Their trial has been pushed back indefinitely. In the YSL case, in December, Judge Earl Glanville said that the trial would likely last six to nine months, citing the pandemic and a shortage of defense attorneys as he exempted the court from constitutional requirements for a speedy trial. But that timeline might have been ambitious. Glanville's court has been mirrored in jury selection for the last six weeks. The court observers say it might need another six weeks to finish as juror after juror explains how sacrificing half a year or more from work or child care creates a massive hardship. YFN Lucci's lawyer, Gabe Banks, quoted Martin Luther King Jr. in his plea to get his client out on bond while the first trial unwinds. Justice delayed is justice denied. If you request a trial, as our client has, and you're denied the benefit of the trial, and the reason given is that we got another trial going on, that's a problem, Banks tells Rolling Stone. It's unfair for our client to be sitting in jail and to be told that we can't try you because we're handling another matter. The court summary rejected his bond petition. Defense attorney Bruce Harvey, who represents Shannon Stilwell, one of the primary targets in the YSL prosecution, notes that bond has similarly been denied for every defendant in the YSL case. Each one of these individuals were kept incarcerated, he says. The state made representations to the court about how dangerous all these folks were. Yet, a number of them have come in and made plea deals and been released, leaving the other defendants in jail for years simply because they wouldn't take a plea. He adds, seems morally and legally reprehensible. Bennett is an alleged victim in a YSL case. Three YSL defendants, Khalif Adams, Dan Keon Garlington and Jade Myrick are charged with shanking him in jail in February 2022. Two others are accused of asking Young Thug for permission to take a second shot on Bennett in jail. All maintain their innocence. Bennett is listed as a trial witness, though his team strenuously asserts that he will not testify. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office insists that there's no problem. The prosecution of the YSL case has not resulted in any delay in the proceedings of any other case. The DA office said in a prepared statement, they add that the office, which has almost 400 employees, is performing at high capacity and is able to work a substantial volume of cases. A single trial, even a high-profile one will not prevent the office from handling other cases on a normal timeline, nor negatively negatively, sorry, affect the productivity of the office. However, a spokesperson for the same office later said that the YFN trial had been pushed back due to security issues. District Attorney Fonnie Willis stated last year that the 
war between the street gangs resulted in at least 50 shootings and multiple murders, according to the spokesperson. The prospect of both street gangs in the same courthouse at the same time drove the decision to the delay. Other law enforcement sources make similar claims. Providing security for the YSL trial is a priority that requires the deployment of resources from various Fulton County Sheriff's Office units. A Sheriff's Office spokesperson said in a statement to RS, because some of the defendants are housed in other counties, the security protocol also involves daily coordination with other agencies regarding transportation and courthouse security. Due to the unprecedented nature of this trial, we are constantly assessing security and making the necessary adjustments to ensure the safety of those involved and the courthouse complex as a whole. Fulton County's jail is overcrowded with inmates sleeping in common areas and plastic boats. Sheriff Pat Labatt told county officials last year, stabbings occur daily, he said. 15 people died in sheriff's custody in 2022, according to the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office, compared to two or three in pre-pandemic years, the Southern Center for Human Rights and the ACLU issued a scathing report last year describing rampant malnourishment and neglect on the jail's mental health floor, where every single inmate was affected with lice, scabies, or both. The ACLU report notes that the jail conditions in Fulton County are in part of a function of the court and prosecutions. The court only began to hold in-person jury trials against last year due to the pandemic. The pace of the indictments for people in jail has not kept with the rates of arrest. Despite a $5 million grant to clear the backlog, most of the people in jail face relatively minor charges. Half have not been indicted, according to the ACLU report. The sheriff's office says it hasn't needed to redeploy officers from the jail or run overtime to staff the YSL trial. But the security presence for the trial has been obvious, unusual, and robust. It has also presented problems of its own. A deputy, Morris Kendakai, was placed on administrative leave and is accused of getting into a scuffle in the back of a jail van with YSL Rico defendant Rodalius Lil Ryan Ryan last month. Deputies used a taser on co-defendant Khalif Adams while searching him for contraband and Adams was caught handing a young thug a Percocet pill in open court. Adams' attorney says he required medical attention after the taser shocks, while Sheriff's office said he had been taken to Grady Memorial Hospital because he swallowed contraband. The lengthy trial isn't just taxing the resources of the sheriff. It's exhausting the capacity of both public and private defenders. Attorneys representing defendants in the trial will be unavailable to their other clients, according to multiple attorneys interviewed for this story. This is set off a chain of filings across the criminal court system in Metro Atlanta and elsewhere. As attorneys for YSL defendants ask to drop their representation of other clients or delay cases. Harvey estimates that 35 to 50 other cases of his alone have had to be delayed as far as away is Tennessee and North Carolina because he is required to be in court in Atlanta while the trial is ongoing. J.A.B.T., another experienced high-profile defense attorney who represents DeMonte Yagati Kendrick, has had his office conflict out of more than 100 pending cases, both in federal and state courts due to the YSL trial. Ricky Carter's murder trial in neighboring DeKalb County is one of those cases. Carter, a 63-year-old Marine veteran, has multiple myeloma cancer and requires chemotherapy that the DeKalb Sheriff has provided inconsistently, Ab says. He has cancer. We've been begging the judge for a bond and can't get it, Ab said. The Sheriff's Department is refusing to take him to his chemo and radiation treatments, and my client, Ricky Carter, can't get a jury trial because I have to be there. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office declined to comment directly on Carter's medical care, citing privacy rules, but said, As in our mandate, the sheriff's office provides consistent and comprehensive medical services to all inmates. Based on assessments at intake and throughout incarceration to include medical conditions as referrals on release as appropriate, Angela D. Williams represents YSL defendant Rodalius Ryan, 
I like app. She's a relatively new attorney who was still building her reputation and portfolio. She accepted Ryan's case through a Georgia Public Defenders Council assignment. And for the next six to nine months, it's the only case she'll be able to stand in court for. Some judges are upset that we're keeping cases open and that is hard to plan, she says. This case is my only focus right now. Now, I'll do this, right? I'll keep it off the control. The funniest thing about everything is they had a trial. YFN and YSL had a trial at the same exact time, same exact date. Yeah, duh, it was going to get ugly. So I understand that. But my thing is, why does one get priority over the other? And plus, let's keep it true. Y'all got cops. Do y'all job. But one of the biggest things that threw me off to be fair to y'all, is the fact that they was right, man. That Those bond hearings and stuff like that and everything on the appeal, just specifically on the appeals alone, when they have them, is the fact that how are these people so dangerous that they were able to basically get these probation deals, these 15, 10-year probation deals? If they were so dangerous and such a, how can we say it, such a menace to society, a menace to the victims and witnesses, at no point in time has anybody left that courtroom with an ankle monitor on and saying, hey, bro, you can't do this, you can't do that. So are you setting them up to intimidate the witnesses? So that was all a whole entire farce. I think it's, it's interesting, right, when we look at it, we go, We've seen Young Thug get denied bond. YFE and Lucci and all his crew get denied bond. YSL has his entire gang, quote unquote, denied bond. But you let out like eight people, including a person charged with attempted murder, out on the streets. I believe it's up to, it was almost 10. You see what I'm saying? It just logically doesn't make sense. But subscribe, turn on that bell to stay notified if you're feeling the vibe. What are y'all thoughts on this, bro? I know I did a ton of reading and everything like that. It is what it is, but the YFN, YSL, Lucci, or not say Lucci, but YSL, YFN war almost cracked off in court because the police can't do their jobs. I call BS.